Welcome back, nerd herders. We are back and we are here with some Hogwarts Legacy and uh, it'll be on the screen here shortly. It's just now starting. There we go. It's on the screen now. See, I told you it would be. We got a little bit of uh, screen lag here, but I don't know. I have nothing else going right now. I have Steam open because of the game. I have OBS and the thing that I can controls my OBS. It's it's a uh, it's called Touch Portal. If you have not used Touch Portal, by the way, and you're a streamer or YouTuber or whatever, it's so much better than uh, the Oh, the stream deck and she cheaper too. I think it's like $25 one time fee or something like that. I can't remember, but oh God, it's so cheap. But it's a it touch port. It works on your iPad. I don't know. It works on your phone too, but I wouldn't use it on the phone personally. I have an iPad. Uh, it's an older one. I have it like it's from school, what, three years ago. So it's an older one, but it works on my iPad and it just, uh, I can push all the buttons. You know, I can press that, that subscribe button, which is what you should be pressing too. But I can press that and it activates that. It can, I can do all kinds of stuff. Um, I can even do sounds. Oh, please. It's got its soundboard. That you can you can make a soundboard. There's a video on it. But check out Touch Portal. I'm not a partner or anything, by the way. I'm not a partner. I just like it that much. <laughs> Sharing it, it's awesome. So it's it's to me, it's better than a soundboard. Like, and it works flawlessly. I've never had an issue with it. Uh, one update, I did have an issue. I fixed it right away, though. It was just it wasn't talking to the correct ports. Um, because you open up ports on OBS to get to you know through it. So. Uh, but it's easy to set up. Uh, it didn't take me long. Now, setting up the soundboard is a little bit harder. Uh, but I have six soundboards set up. I don't have that many sounds. But each soundboard can hold... And it's all on one page. So, like, I ha it's just... Uh, they're little tabs, basically, in Touch Portal. And so each one can hold... Let's see. Seven, eight, nine. Nine, I think it is. So... Oh, preparing the shaders again. I just did this. I just did this. Sorry. If I had known it was going to do this, I would have... I. I, I, the reason I shut it down and started up when you guys got here, uh, by the way, thanks for coming again. I didn't, I don't think I said that, but, um, is because that you have, you get your entrance letter right away. And I wanted to read that and take a picture. Menu of it. Okay. reader. No, off. off. Yes. Thank you. Press space bar to toggle. No, 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 no. I don't want to toggle. That. There is one thing I want to turn on. Oh, it's not, it wouldn't be here. So that mean it reset all my settings. Oh man. I, I accept. Um, uh, do, does anybody read this stuff? I don't. Yes, and I took the quiz online. I'm Slytherin. I also have a wand that's unicorn hair, black walnut, 13 and three quarter inches, and hard. <laughs> don't put all that in one sentence because that doesn't sound good. Uh, that's why I took a break break between it. All right. Um, uh, view set change settings. I want to turn off. Hold on. There's one thing that I turn off in every game I play. Hopefully the sounds are okay. I already fixed all this, but apparently if you shut it down, uh, no, no, can be here. Motion blur off. Oh, it is off. So it did save it. What the hell? Okay. So uh, escape. There we go. Have to continue. <clears throat> Everything else fine. It's on ultra, by the way. Uh, that's what it says it can run on. I don't know. I haven't tried yet. I haven't played this at all. I've also been trying to avoid watching people play. I've seen a couple people like play a little bit of it, but not a lot. So, all right. We are pleased to inform you that you've been accepted into Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Term begins on 1 September. Pre preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree of reasonable restriction of underage s sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those age of seven age of, under age, the age of 17 outside of school however due to your unique circumstances the ministry has graciously agreed to allow professor uh, elizar fig i don't know if i said that right to help you hone your spell casting before escorting you from london to the castle and start of term fee feast and the sorting ceremony you're you're sincerely professor weasley deputy head mistress all right Let's do this. I am going to go. Um, I was I was trying to debate this real quick though. Uh, I think I think I want to do. Do I want to do female or male? I think I'll do male. I think I'll do a male character, although she's really cute. Oh, I think I'll do female. Okay. Yep. I like her look. She's so cute. Okay. What is this? Face shape. Um. Well, that's not bad. Okay. <clears throat> I 
There we go. I think that's good. Uh, skin. Oh, no, no. I was trying to just tone it up a little bit. Oh, oh there's. Okay, there are different ones. Okay, there we go. Glasses. Let's go those. I like those. Those are kind of cute. All right, hairstyle. It's in a bun. No. Doesn't look good. What? What do you want, baby girl? Yes. Uh, not right now, baby girl. Okay. I just was playing with you and you just went outside. So, oh, that's cute. I like that. Um, let's see. That's that's the professional bun pulled back. No loose hairs. Okay. Um. No. No. No, I don't like that hairstyle. Okay, that one's nice. I like that. Uh, hair color. Ooh, ooh, there we go. Whoop. You can go a crazy color. Or, yeah, there we go. Okay, complexion. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Go back. Right there. Rosy red complexion. Uh, freckles, yeah, we'd... we'd Freckles, yeah. Mole. No, I think I think a little bit of freckles would be good. Scars and markings, okay. Um I don't know. Oh, that's a good kind of a good one. Alright, she's kinda of badass, so let's do that one. Yeah. All right, uh, eyebrow shape. I kind of like the one she has now. Let's see what else is available. That's not bad. Oops, forgot to turn off my, hold on. Let me, let me hey, listen to this. Um, there we go. No, not a unibrow. I had that problem when I was a child. <laughs> Those aren't bad. Eyebrow color. I don't think I'm going to do anything crazy with the eyebrow color. I mean, I guess that doesn't look too bad. Eye color. All right, let's let's do that. Let's go all the way. It was wonderful. I I am indeed a student, but I could very well be. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. A few cobwebs and some dust. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Normal, yeah. All right, first name. Her first name is Angelica. Last name. Um. Uh, what's her last name going to be? Angelica. Can I, can I? Why don't they have a little dice here where you can roll it? <coughs> um. How about uh. Angelica Gracious. She's a witch. All right. Let me see here. That was quite something. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. It's not bad. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. That's really nice. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Mm. That was quite something. I don't know. That's, that's a hard one. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Let's take the middle one, I think. Uh, I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help. No, I like that one. Yeah, uh, okay. Sorry, I'm going back and forth. I know. All right, let's start our journey. Here we go. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. Almost. Until then, hit subscribe. We didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone <clears throat> take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor. Absolutely. I appreciate you working with me before the time begins. Oh! <laughs> Eleazar! George! 
Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Eleazar. Oh, of course. Okay. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We had a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful all idea. All right. As long as your young <clears throat> charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Not at all, sir. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. All right. that <clears throat> Warner Brothers Games presents in association with no I don't know <laughs> in Avalanche Studios good on you Avalanche I I can't wait Word key games in the wizarding world with a pretty owl <clears throat> just barely <laughs> and who is your traveling companion a new student new yes oh. sir i'm starting school as a fifth year how extraordinary it is indeed none of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to hogwarts so late nor have i of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Absolutely. Dave is not only an <clears throat> exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare <laughs> say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? Goblin Rebellion. Truth or gobbledygook? Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really <laughs> is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? Oh. She wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she <coughs> sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly. Yeah. To keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. I do. Nor do I. Because I'm special. <laughs> Merlin's beard. How did you... Wait. We did. Oh, hello. Oh my goodness. Give me your hand. 
Wow, that was pretty cool. Holy cow. It's a squirrel. It's so cute. Are you alright? <coughs> You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. G to heal. Alright. <clears throat> Our first lesson. George, I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking his <clears throat> carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, <sighs> where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I don't know where we are. <clears throat> I'm feeling better, sir. If you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. <clears throat> We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Alright. Oh, it's so bright. My eyes have been blinded me. What in the world? How far did that bookie take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you think the bookie was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. No. But Miriam sent that bookie to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's do this. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. <clears throat> all right. Mind your step. Where okay. do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold hmm. of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, oh, there's the path down below. This way. Well, I could have told you that. Sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful <laughs> magic disappeared jump. from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Oh. Now, how are we going to get through here? Ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Okay. All right, use your camera to select the active target. Whee! That was fun. Let's do it again. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Oh, ho, ho, look at the power I have. Works improving with every cast. Yeah. 
We're close now. It's just ahead. I'm just practicing. Because it's awesome. The wand is amazing. And I haven't even gotten any spells except for the main one. Steady yourself. Oh, it's windy here. I want to do that. That's cool. I mean, I guess I'll have to eventually, but. Repero. I have a wand. I bought oh, one from Amazon. That? It's actually a really good sturdy wand. I was surprised. I'm destroying things. It's fine. Somebody's gonna come alive, aren't they? And they're gonna drop down and Why try to kill us. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. What about all these vases that I'm breaking? Or whatever they are. Mini map shows you surroundings. Press and hold V to toggle objectives. Okay. The path to Hogwarts. Professor Fig and I have traveled to Port Key to a remote cliff sites in the Scottish Highlands. We need to explore the mysterious ruins that we suspect the Port Key was meant to lead us to. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. <clears throat> Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Look at all the writing. I guess this means you could see the writing on the wall? No? Okay. I, I try my best. something over here that enchanted crystallized stone again but what could it be blocking what's this professor thing It's a mirror. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And right? how is there a room behind <clears throat> it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. Let's investigate that glow. Wait, did it? Go to the goblin. Heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. While searching through the rune castle in the Scottish Highlands, I appear I happened upon a strange glowing doorway made of crystallized stone. Suddenly Professor Fig and I found ourselves in an ornate vestibule. We remain unsure of what we found. Wakey, wakey. <clears throat> they tried to wake you up nicely, but you wouldn't listen. <clears throat> it can't be. Yep, it can. <clears throat> uh, just a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. What? Vault We're at a number bank. twelve, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. 
the key. Mm -hmm. Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. <clears throat> this way, then. All right. Stay close. That's cool. We get to go for a ride on the rocket ship. Oh my goodness. I feel like I'm there right now. Keep your hands inside the car. If you At all times. <laughs> the exits are here, 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 anywhere. Okay, wrong movie. Sorry. This is cool. Vault number. Well, twelve. Momentous day. <laughs> oh, he didn't look happy. On your way. <clears throat> yep. He's gonna go warn somebody, isn't he? Yeah, I don't like the look of that. The armband the guard was wearing was glowing. Like the glow you saw in the porky container. No, darker. <clears throat> I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Yeah. <clears throat> there it is. Here we are. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. Hey, I was searching the chest. Make sure we don't come out. A coin. Yeah. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might. The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Trap like rats. Wait, no, we're not. Professor? I see the door. That was There's a door. Certainly unexpected. Right behind you. There's a door. Let me think. There must be something here. <clears throat> mm, Revelio, perhaps. Revelio. Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready one. the wand and focus. Okay.
Revelio. Revelio. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. Anything else I should be doing in here? No. The door. There we go. Oh, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you <laughs> see a way to. I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw in the portkey container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Let's do this. <clears throat> Lumos! This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. Look at the shading, but like the light and everything on my ear. Okay, well, he just went through Stay me, close. so there, that broke that. There will that. be no <laughs> if things go poorly, not out of Gringotts. Revelia. That's so cool. All right, sorry. I'm, I'm done for now. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Whoa! What happened? What then is this? The glow. It suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? <clears throat> yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue. What statue? Under underground. I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. Yes, it is. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Because the light's guiding it. Mm. <clears throat> Perhaps you should cast I'm smart. Hit subscribe. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Ready? All right. So, Lumos. All right. You've acquired the wand lighting charm, Lumos. Which has automatically been slotted in spell set. Lumos creates light at the tip of your wand to help you see in dark areas. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, this can't be good. No. Take him back. I take it back. No more Lumos. No more Lumos. I thought I hit it. No. Okay, so they have to hit. So we had to block ourselves first. I'm right here. <laughs> Lumos. Professor? Professor Fig? Professor, where are you? Uh-oh. The 
This isn't good. No, where it's not. Where am I supposed to go? Probably where all these little light things are going. What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Lumos. Oh, that's where they're leading me. Oh, not again. Oh, there's three this time. All right, so. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Okay, so I want them to all come here. It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to. You can see that they were pointing to one place. Oh crap! I thought I hit it. Alright, hold Q during Protego to stun the enemies and with a stupefy counterattack. Stunned enemies take extra damage in indicated by gold numbers. Oh, I didn't I did it too soon. Thought he was coming at me. My timing is horrible right now. Let's go. Let's get out of this fricky wizard thingy. This is cool. <coughs> well, there's a doorway. Investigating now. <laughs> what is that? Uh, there you are. How did you? What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive <clears throat> for viewing memories. Oh. I wonder. Oh, because you. Okay, I see. They want you to view the memory. Follow my lead. Too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, hmm. and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge <coughs> and the responsibility that accompanies it. 
We've done all that we can. It's beautiful. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Astonishing. Can I see magic? Ancient, ancient magic, yep. Of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed. Of course it exists. But could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been <clears throat> dormant for centuries. Yeah, we don't know where George is right now. And you, George could be anywhere. It seems, are the key to understanding why. We were it all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. <clears throat> I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going <clears> to <throat> visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. No. <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. Oh. I, I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you be careful. Hey, then. I have no patience <clears throat> for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well... Perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Well then. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> He's the protector. Oh, no. who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both, wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. <clears throat> All right. No way, are we already at Hogwarts? Oh, we're at the station, okay. <clears throat> Goodness, yes. That is amazing. <clears throat> I'm ready, let's go.
<clears throat> All right, what's next? I'm ready. I'm ready for everything. <laughs> Good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but <clears throat> that seems more appropriate. Now, oh, sweet. I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the ministry. They need to know what happened to George. I was going to go Ravenclaw, the by the way, but I'm going to try. I ask that you keep the... all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. <clears throat> Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Yes. Let's go. <clears throat> All right. Phineas Nigellus Black. <laughs> Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Fig, <clears throat> nice of you to join us. A little the late. Sorting ceremonies over. There were complications. complications. complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig. <clears throat> and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. Wow. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Wow. <clears throat> Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Sort me, sort me. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Ah, oh, yes. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? <clears throat> you come here with preferences and preconceptions. Yes. Certain expectations. Gryffindor. Um, oh, gosh. Uh, can't wait to explore. I'm looking forward to exploring <clears throat> Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Mm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Mm. Interesting. Mm. You've recently learned that you possess a rare ability. I detect a growing sense of ambition. Yep. An eagerness for power. Perhaps you belong in Slytherin. All right. Uh, the sorting hat will take your choice into account when you s sorting into your house. Slytherin house known for cunning, ambition, and hunger for power. Except house or choose. Let's see. What, what else? Is oh, I see. Okay. Gryffindor house known for daring, bravery, and chivalry. Intelligence, creativity, and wit, which is what I was going to do. Hufflepuff. Known for patience, loyalty, and hard work. Yep, let's do Slytherin, I, I guess. a growing <clears throat> sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. Of course you do. All right, I guess we'll do it. <clears throat> you belong in Slytherin! Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> And one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Oh, what? Enough. It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. 
But don't tempt me. Oh, I just got you here. You are here I to focus flying. on your academic <laughs> futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before <laughs> classes begin tomorrow. Wait, don't I get to eat? Oh, man. <clears throat> Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall their see common you room. Show me to my common room, then, good saying, sir. I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Hello, madam. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As deputy headmistress, oh, professor, it is sorry. my distinct <clears throat> honor to show you to your common room. Right this, right way. this way. It's excited. I'm excited. We're all excited. It's quite uncommon <clears throat> for a student to begin as a fifth year. It may be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. Yes, I am. It can be quite resourceful. I suspected as much. This is the entrance to the Slytherin common room. In order to enter, one must simply speak the correct password. Aspiration. Very well. Aspiration. <clears throat> kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. Not much for snakes, but I'm not. That's kind of cool. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. <clears throat> Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Oh, wow. Look at that. <clears throat> oh, looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. All right, so let's look around. Heck yeah, we got free apples. Oh my goodness. I suppose some introductions are in order. Okay, introduce yourself to three people. <laughs> Can I help you? <laughs> oh, you're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Sallow. Welcome Hello, Sebastian Sallow. Sallow. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a <clears> friend <throat> of Professor Figs, who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Fig are all right. It was exciting. It was dreadful, certainly, but quite an experience nonetheless. Interesting perspective. How did you and Fig manage to escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. What, what book reading? were you reading? A spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but not exactly what I was looking for. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough. But not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks. <laughs> oh. What do you mean? Are you saying some spells aren't taught at Hogwarts? Which ones? Seems I may have met a kindred spirit. <laughs> <laughs> that is a conversation for another time. It was good meeting you. Good luck today. Okay. <sighs> Hi there. How are you? Okay. I'm good too. Thanks for asking. That's the stuff. Oh, well. Oh, so we're going to be playing chess? Oh, well, that's going to be... That's going to be special. You're not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Checkmate. Told you. Oh, she is my kindred spirit. You should have Told listened you. to me. <laughs> oh, I know who you are. 
You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't Hi, with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills in a broom are legendary. Uh, wish you had been there. Professor Fig's friend would have survived if we'd had your help. Precisely. <clears throat> Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. Uh, you seem to know a lot about wizard chess. Are you a keen wizard chess fan? You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much too sedate a pastime for me. Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves are always so obvious. Why does no one else see it? <laughs> you fly a Do lot. Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. There's nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. Oh, okay. All right, well, fine. Goodbye, Imelda. Nice meeting you. All right. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> Sorry. Is his I, name Omnis? I think I heard one. Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, ominous? I'm guessing yeah. you're the new fifth. <clears throat> ominous I'm Gaunt? Ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Nice to ominous meet you. Gaunt. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. Uh, I like to make an entrance. Well, if I'm yeah. going to make my mark here, I had to start right away. Yeah. <laughs> you're definitely in the right house. <laughs> Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here. Though I doubt you'll need it. Uh. Did you suspect you'd be in Slytherin? Are you expecting to be sorted into Slytherin? Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four oh. founders of Hogwarts. <clears throat> Not something I'm especially proud of, mind you. He was obsessed with blood status, a pure blood maniac. Unfortunately, most of his <clears throat> descendants do not fall far from that tree. Ah, uh, okay. Do mermaids often appear outside Did the common room windows? student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. It is fun to play along, though. Been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. <laughs> well, it was nice meeting you. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. All right. Is the new fifth year Slytherin in here? Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. I never thought I'd actually enjoy her much. But Professor Weasley. Alright, meet Professor outside the common room. Professor Weasley's waiting for me outside the common room. I should report to her. Okay. That's a long way up. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. I've been I am ready. This day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Right. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs. Owls. Yes, your ordinary <clears throat> wizarding level exams. Okay. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. All right. Here you Ooh. are. It's the magical book of magic. <clears throat> I don't think I should have let it open. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track <laughs> of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. All right. Thank you, Professor, but... What do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? 
Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. All right, let's do this. This way. Professor Hackett is an enigma. House chest, okay. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Revelia, the guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. <clears throat> There's a chest over here. Do keep up. Why don't you cast Revelio on that statue and see what details the field guide can provide? Uh, the statue depicts the Kelpie, a shape-shifting water demon native to Ireland and Great Britain, which usually takes the form of a long-maned horse. The largest Kelpie ever reported is the Loch Ness Monster in Scotland. Knew it. You've just unlocked Field Guide Challenge. Your progress co towards completing challenges appear here. Field Guide Challenges are o the only way to acquire experience points for XP. When, this is your wizarding level. Uh, XP earned from challenges increases your level and power. <clears throat> your Field Guide tracks your current challenge progress. Select the Challenges menu to continue. Collecting your first page will have unlocked a new challenge category. The new challenges you unlock throughout your adventure will appear here. Select field guide pages to continue. Oh. Uh, each challenge has tiers. Special rewards unlock at each tier you complete. Form appearances to critical updates. Upgrades. Rewards must be claimed from the challenges menu. Come back often to collect your rewards you have unlocked. <clears throat> Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. But wait a minute, I wanted to get that chest. Good poking in the eye, it wouldn't let me. Avelia. No. I don't have to say the word, I just walk by it. There's another chest up there. opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker your field okay. guide contains a map of the castle open it up and find central hall all right uh you've discovered flu flames fast travel points you can open the map at any time and fast travel and discover the flu flames <clears throat> all right hogwarts is divided into two main areas the left side of the map is where students professors live and includes the house of common rooms in the great hall Select the Grandstand Staircase region to continue. <clears throat> in this view, you can see the flu flames available in that region. Green flu flames represent the flames that you've discovered, including your own house, common room. Gray floor flu flames reveal locations that are undiscovered. <clears throat> right side of the map is where you'll find academic points of interest, including astronomy tower, library, and greenhouse. Select the library annex to continue. Professor Weasley has unlocked the central hall flu flames for you. A and D to rotate the map and fast travel to central hall flu flames. Okay. <laughs> well, that was nice of her. There was still a chest over there I didn't get. <laughs> White outline. Here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to central hall. You can right. get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. I'm coming, I'm coming. <clears throat> Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. Rebellion. That should be oh. over now. 
<laughs> you will be expected to attend both charms and defense against the dark arts classes today. Right. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. All right, can you tell me more about charms class? What will I learn in charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented <clears throat> teacher. All right. What exactly is Defense Against the Dark can Arts? Can tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become <clears throat> warers. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find <coughs> all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. All you right. will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. <laughs> Thank you, Professor. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Additional Just assignments? Oh my God! Use of Best earlier, thing I'd ever. I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. <clears throat> He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Um... That, uh, uh, we did take a bit of a detour on the way here. <clears throat> Ended up exploring some ruins and... Mm, I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well... I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. <laughs> your ears must have been burning. Oh, absolutely. Yes. You <clears throat> seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather, Rather. unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class <coughs> myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today, and remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you, and invaluable to <coughs> me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom. I'll Shall do, attended or both will do. Or, today, yeah. <coughs> and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned, and we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. I want to go to Hogsmeade now. There we go. Central Hall Fountain. The ornate fountain features intric intricately carved statues of denizens of the magical world, including a set of stone sirens encircling the fountain's base. Do add a two, baby. Uh. Oh, what, what's this? Okay. Um, challenges. <clears throat> Field guide. Uh, ooh, new spectacles. Okay. And gloves. Oh, gear. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wouldn't it be tab or is it I? It's I in it. Okay. New handwear. Right. 
Didn't I just unlock new ones? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I meant to go back. Damn it. Stop it. No. No, no, no. There we go. Cloaks and robes. <clears throat> oh, that's better. Uh, I don't think that's appropriate to go in school on your first day like that. <laughs> Neckwear. Eh. Wait, does it do something? Hold on. No magical properties. So no, I don't want to wear that. Is there any magical properties on the robe? Offense. Did not upgrade. Well appointed. <clears throat> All right, we'll leave it on for now. But if it has no magical properties, then no point in wearing it. All right. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping <clears throat> our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? Uh, it was nothing, sir. I hope I didn't say too much. She caught me off guard. <clears throat> I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant <clears throat> and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, <coughs> and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. All right. <coughs> you can track uh, available quests in the map. Oh. Okay, this represents main quests. Completing main quests will further your story and unlock new features and XP. Some quests are locked by a spell or level requirement. <clears throat> In these cases, you will be noted, needed to need to re be required level or have the required spell to activate the quest. New spells can be earned by completing professor's assignments or as quest rewards. To track a quest. Okay, so we're going in there first, charms class. <clears throat> the map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank yes, you. Yes, it will. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. <clears throat> You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. Okay. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. <coughs> All right. Quest complete. All right. Cast Charm Compass. Oh, sweetness. Revelio. Who is this? <laughs> Alrighty then. Okay. Wait a minute. There's a flu flame somewhere, yeah. How nice to see you, my young friend. What do you want? Huh. 
This is so cool. <coughs> Oops. Professor Revenia. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Some of us don't necessarily Begin. want him to get back to the lesson. All right, here we go. It's our first class. Feels so good to be a student again. Here. I mean, what? Behind you. There is an open seat here. Thank wow. You. <clears throat> Hello, I am Nettie. So Nettie? you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right? Now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing Obliviate on one another. <laughs> Obliviate! Uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need <coughs> of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only All one right. book will be needed by partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. All right, here we go. Let's do it. All right. So... Accio, right? Accio. All that's going to come in handy. That is not bad. You are a mm. swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, oh, everyone. Oh, yeah. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptional that was easy. day of thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. I like this class. Yeah, I definitely like this class. Ha. <clears throat> <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summary <coughs> charm to the test, right? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> So why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Okay. Very simply, All right. cast Accio, new spell Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of tap throwing the marbles sign, out, pass. you are summoning Pull the target to closer, tap the key again to release the, the spell. The trick is to pull the sphere as far as possible, but not excellent control there. Oh! The of us. <clears throat> Very good! Oh, it fell off too! Oh, wow. Thought I had it. I got one out of Very good. Three. Points to yeah. Slytherin. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. 
Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a <clears throat> bit of a challenge? Come on up. Okay, here we go. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Clear. Yes, sir. Oh, come on. Oh, no, no, stop, 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 stop. Oh, come on. Not to worry. What? You little turd. Oh, come on. Well done. <clears throat> no, not well done. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? What is he doing? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. <clears throat> right? <laughs> I'll say. Hey, enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Let us see this. Yes. All right, let's try to do better this time. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, crap. To the best of us. Here we go. I like this game, but I can't play it very well. Oh, come on. Push it off. Push it off. Push it off. Oh. That is how it's done. Splendid. Yeah, well. Not so splendid. Knock one off, damn it. She's not supposed to beat me every time, is she? <laughs> oh, of course. Stay right there, yeah. That's a good idea. That's a great idea right there, yeah. Mm -hmm. I st- Oh, my goodness. Oh, dear. Don't- Oh, dear me. Can I redo this like whole thing? I want to redo everything. Like that that wasn't that wasn't fair. Very good, both of you. Well done. <laughs> that was fun though. I, I should be able to redo it, right? Re like there's a reduce? No? No reduce. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. I need a book. How am I supposed to study without a book? Well done back there. You took <clears throat> the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Yeah. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before oh, I really? it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. <clears throat> How big is... Is Wagadu much bigger than Wagadu. Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu <clears throat> School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. 
But it never seemed intimidating <coughs> or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. It's like a little castle, like Hogwarts. Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. Okay, that would be kind of cool to see. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick, I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. Cool. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Oh, okay. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, <clears throat> however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. Definitely, yeah. Thank you for telling it's me about nice Wagadu. to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Yep, he's standing Until there with his arms time. on his side. Of course, you can use Aki on humans. A word of this, if you would. So inclined. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, yes. an outdoor competition <clears throat> wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? <laughs> this <laughs> right. one I is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Yes, that's Expect correct. Expect to hear from me <clears throat> soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Sounds good. Arms class complete. Rebellion. Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. Huh. Hello there. You're the new student, Hello. aren't you? You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're, You're from the Ravenclaw. student everyone's been whispering about. Yes, Hope I your am. first day is going well. <clears throat> you certainly seem to hold your own in charms. Um... Wasn't too challenging of a Thank lesson. Thank you, but it really wasn't all that challenging. My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be a bit overconfident in his. Well, better <coughs> see to my charms homework. I find Professor Ronan's lessons a bit more challenging than you do. Uh, oh, okay. I can't remember my intention. Hi there, kitty kitty. Yep, at the cats. Oh, I did 26 hours of homework last week. Let me guess. Catch 26 you. hours of homework? Oh, it's upstairs. Don't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flat. Oh, fight, fight. It's a bold attack. Was the minister a boot? Okay. Or the minister a flack? Stop it, Peeves. You'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't give Peeves a smack. She says it's a boot, and he says it's a flack. Peeves, enough. You'll get us all detained. So there's a spell to be, be able to move stuff. And you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It was a boot and it wasn't Flack, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black. No. <laughs> nope. Okay, so what? Okay, zero, three. Okay, so two. Right?
Hmm. Whoops. I didn't mean to hit the cat, but that's fine. I was going to do the other thing. Okay, so is that one, two? Is that what that is? It shouldn't be that. Uh oh. No. Uh, no. Okay. Oh, here. Okay, so the unicorn. Four, three. Okay, so. I have no idea what this means. Oh, three, zero, three, five. And then this one. We'll have to come back to this one because I'm guessing there's something else. Level one lock. Okay. My sister will be home for the holidays this year. All right. So map. We want to go to side quests are now available. Available side quests can be found inside regions of Hogwarts, as marked as flags. Discovered by exploring the world, these quests reward XP but do not advance the main story. That's a lot of side. Okay. So this is a side. Library annex. All right. There we go. Okay, B. I could want the green house. I'm late for my dark arts class. Don't judge. Wait a minute. Oh, that's just cats, okay. <clears throat> I had to. There's a bigger one. Put them all. You can't There's imagine a... how inconvenient travel was before I invented. All right, let's go. to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one <coughs> Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, That's you may be cool. asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age that matters is cool. very little. <clears throat> Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity. Especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned. Starting with something small. Okay. Steady your one and guide to the symbols. Alright, so. Levioso. Light as a feather. Now, let's try something a little larger. All right. Let us begin with a basic cast. Okay. 
dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. All right. Remember. Well done. Aha! Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. So All I'm right. Proper Hogwarts, welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. That was awesome. You give as good as you get. <laughs> oh, excuse me? No. That was pretty good. I put you on the spot and you rose to the challenge. Points to Points Slytherin. To Slytherin. Well, you, he's Slytherin too, so Glad we don't want to have the opportunity to practice. <clears throat> if what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. Great things from me indeed. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, <clears throat> but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Okay. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well <clears throat> done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Fantastic. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. Uh, what's up with your dress here? Huh. I Always like it, but Fabio, it's it's so different. <laughs> It's it's one of those wonderful things that are I don't know what it is, but it's it's great. You drilled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. Oh really? Alright. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Well, I'm better at dueling practice. than I am playing with balls. Felt more like I was dueling an expert. <clears throat> Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Maybe it wasn't. Um, I had my share of wand I've combat. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, oh. fair enough. <laughs> you only well. an honest duel when you aren't. You know... You might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Uh, sounds intriguing. Exclusive and <clears throat> unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Yeah, yep, Harry did that a lot. I mean, up, hasn't done that yet. He hasn't born yet. restricted but... section of the library. <clears throat> You just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. I gotta go get my wand first, but after Until that I am. Time. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. All right. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I've no All right. Avelio. Nothing? Okay. Nothing there either? All right. If it sees my master, I'll Can you Levioso somebody? Levioso. No. Okay. Just checking. I wasn't sure if you could love you also somebody. Rebellion. 
Augury Skeleton. Uh, the skeleton is an Irish phoenix or augury, augury, an intensely shy bird that can forecast the coming of rain and whose mournful cry once believed uh, to foretell death. Okay. Okay, so now we got to go to go get our stuff. So we got to go talk to... There it is. Okay, we're going to go buy another one too. Of course Wyvern Fountain. The fountain is a transfiguration courtyard. It has a likeness to the Wyvern atop that serves as a relaxing place for students to gather, despite rumors of contrary, possibly started by Sir Catagon. Catagon? Um, this is the most assuredly not meant to be the Wyvern of Y, slain by the lively knight of the spy him of himself. Oh, we already got that one. Okay. Collection updated. Wait, what? Oh, another cat. <clears throat> Is there like an achievement for petting cats? Like, you pet all 900 cats and you get an achievement? Okay, hold on, let me... Uh, I don't have anything new. Challenges, though. Oh, we got, we got two of them already. Ooh. Well, that's the one we're working towards, huh? We got these new gloves though. Legendary gloves. Oh, I guess not. Maybe not till we get back from the after class is the one we're going to. What's this one? Oh, okay. This is where we collect everything from. And I'm sure we have to go get our broom too, right? Please leave after class. <clears throat> what about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. <clears throat> oh, excuse, Deke. <laughs> ah, there Goodbye, you Dick. Are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins. <laughs> Some ruins? I <laughs> wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there... Hasn't Professor Fig Have said you anything? Professor Fig not <clears throat> discussed my training. He continues to be reticent about the details, mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? Lumos. That's yes. correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streamer. Regardless, <clears throat> you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help <clears throat> hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan mentioned Professor that. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier. Yes, we've let's go. We've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And about Mr. A wand? Ollivander will connect you with the oh, perfect Oh, yeah. Wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Um, what more can you tell me about the potion can shop? You tell me more about the <clears throat> potion shop, Professor. Jay Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asks that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. 
Oh, sweet. Spellcraft? I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. Okay. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. Okay. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. All right, I'm ready to go. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. <coughs> I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Uh, how about Natty? Yeah. I'd like to go with Natty. <coughs> Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables <coughs> en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand <coughs> sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. All right, butterbeer. Uh, assignments are the type of quests given by Hogwarts professors that, when completed, reward you with new spells. The reward you, for completing the first assignment will be a Mending Charm, Reparo, which is required to complete other quests. You can track assignments and progress. Yeah. All right, fine. I'm going. I'm going. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Absolutely. Why isn't it working though? Lumos. Nothing to be okay, so over there. Wait, what? I thought I saw something. That's another type of cat. We gotta pet the cat. <clears throat> Ah, there you are. Professor Ronan. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an Arrow. exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm, it seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but <clears throat> first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. Right. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. All right. Why must I first complete tasks to learn repair? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable <laughs> when mastering any new bit of magic. All right, let's complete them. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. I'd like the flying page into the broken statue. A flying page must be around here somewhere. And then up here. Wait, what is wait, what what's he doing down there? What to help me with my sad predicament. Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? <clears throat> Zenobia Oak, the girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Aww. Well, why does everyone hate everyone you? Everyone hates you? Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. 
Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no talent moon mind. <laughs> I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul smelling <clears throat> liquid. Interesting. Gobstones. Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Yes, Just because they can. they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. <laughs> Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Oh, rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. <laughs> uh, any ideas how to reach them? Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding <clears throat> spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. All right. You don't have any Haven't friends? You any friends at school? Not really. Natty said hello once, but not a word since. Oh, Natty's nice. Okay. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. All I'll right. be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. <laughs> all right. No, that is not the one I want. Uh, let's go to map. Not map, sorry. Quests. Uh, we want to do Professor Ronan's assignment right now. We're going to fast travel to here. This is near the Dark Arts classes where one of them was. I saw one of them up in... Floating in the where the common area was, where everybody was at. All right, yeah, over here. The best way to learn. Wait. Did I go upstairs? It was right here. Like I saw it, and I was like, it stuck out to me. Revenia. Oh, it's a calico cat now, right? Isn't that calico? <clears throat> I shouldn't be stopping to pet cats, but you know. Broken statue. We can't jump over there. Okay. What are you up to now? The flying page must be around here somewhere. Um. Brilliant. There we go. There's one of them. Now a teacher herself. It's a wonder she's not gobbled up by her own Oh, wait a minute. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Yeah, so that means there's probably one here, right? Revelio. There's one. That's one of Zenobia's gobstones. This is the there we go. Area. I wonder where the flying page is. There it is. Rebellion. Got 
There we go. And so what? We're going to repair that statue? I trust the preliminary task. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly oh. know your way around basic charms. Let I do, I do. the old mending charm and try then, shall we? Okay, Remember let's go. to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Wand is at the ready. Remember, your wand is a oh, conduit wow. of your magic. There we go. Reperio. Reparo, sorry. All right. Uh, the mending charm Reparo can be used to mend broken objects and pieces of the environment. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the outdoor okay. by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and light. Alright, there we go. New spell unlocked. I don't have to go back and talk to him again. Why does it have that though? <coughs> Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so what next? Look at the map. Welcome to Hogsmeade. Okay, so we need to track that quest. Let's go! Oh, that is cool. That's awesome. All right. This cannot possibly be as difficult as it seems. My arm has been taken. Where's the Revelia? They have a feeling one of her little things was in here. Oh, wait. This up here. Oh, that's the thing. Okay. Rebellion. You should hear Charlotte. What am I missing? Hello. I don't believe we've met. <clears throat> oh, hello. Why am I? I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's a potty? It's painting. I never noticed it before. <clears throat> if I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Uh, have you learned anything about it? Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. Oh, that's what was... I'm not sure okay. what to do next. <clears throat> right. Are there other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. Yeah, I've seen the them. I just didn't know what to do. Okay. Is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. Yeah. If I can it's... work out the riddle of this one, <clears throat> I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been Could racking be. my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. Lumos. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Okay. This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special about it? Revelia. And I see what it is. Uh, the statue with an in integrating grin depicts the medieval wizard Gregory the Smarmy. The wizard famous for inventing Gregory's un unctuous unction, uh, a potion that makes a drinker believe whoever gave them the potion is their best friend. All right, so. Oh. And 
Not that's not gonna work. All right. Lumos. Oh, there we go. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. <laughs> I knew there was a connection. <laughs> I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. All right, there's our field guide page. Oh, and then it disappears. So once we've learned it, it's gone. Okay, sorry. Where am I going now? Oh. Let's go finish this one real quick, and then we're going. Lenora, <clears throat> I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. But pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. So now we have to do all the rest in, in here. I should have seen that. Like a moth to a flame. Rebellion. Okay. Oh, there's something in there. Okay, I was like, what? Okay, so go back to the map again. We gotta find where Hog's Meat is. Smacked him. Did you see that? Why are you guys smacking each other? Hello, looking for me? I am. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must yes. be eager to have your own thing <clears throat> again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. Right. Do I get to broom too? Or no? No broom? <clears throat> So this is the outside, huh? I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbee in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. <laughs> was it though? I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. <laughs> I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. <laughs> Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit Everything's at beautiful. Christmas, Look at this. But that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. Not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lace wing flies in this area. Oh, what's so special about them? They are interesting to look at, but if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. All right. Those are funny. I like those. Oh, I can roll. Look, 
from the forbidden forest. Hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Oh my goodness, look at that. Absolutely. Like we already mentioned. <clears throat> That's the forbidden forest on the left. It's off limits to students, <laughs> as the name implies. Why oh yeah, well I'm gonna go to it. The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden <clears throat> only makes it more alluring. Right? Ah, Me too. There's Hogsmeade over the crest. Past that ruin. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Hmm. She knows more about me than I had thought. <laughs> I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. Leaping toadstool caps. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland. She just but went right through that birdcage. That wasn't good. I'm getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and <coughs> run. Is everything all right, sir? Huh? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What <laughs> did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys, Dudley and Arian. Mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. <gasps> Poor Mr. Moon. A demigod. He's a little drunk. I think he had too much fun in the village. I think so too. I say that I have never seen him in such a state. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. I got Moonstone. Just being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Hogsmeade. And here wait, wait, wait. We have to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweets you can imagine at home. Gotta stop and pet all the cats. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. All right, hold on. Can we can we save real quick? Oh, the request, yeah. Um, no. Is it would be under no save save game. Empty save slot. There we go. So that means, sadly, we're going to have to end it here. If you guys wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button if you're enjoying, we've got a lot more coming. Obviously, this is the intro. This is where we get uh, we get started and everything. But, oh, man, I can't wait. Um, yeah, we got to get our wand next time. So I will see you then. Love you all. Game on and geek out.